2002, 2003. Oh, 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 man. Oh, hey guys, Josh here from Momentum Productions, and today, woo! Hey guys, Josh here from Momentum Productions, and today I'm going to be showing you how to mount a microphone to your Crane 2 gimbal. You don't need any other accessory like the dual handle system or any other sort of rig. You can mount it directly onto the gimbal. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but there are actually multiple accessory ports already built into the Crane 2. I'm gonna be using the one that is located on the pitch motor. This is my favorite accessory port because when we mount our microphone on it or any other small accessory, we will have full clearance even when we go into inverted mode. You will be needing two extra little accessories. They're very cheap. You'll need a mini ball head and a male to male quarter 20 inch screw. You can find these accessories in the description box below. I'll post some links for you. So let's start off by attaching the screw to the mini ball head. Then we're gonna screw it on to this accessory port located on the pitch axis. Make sure it's good and tight. Next, we can mount our accessory. I'm gonna be using a lavalier wireless microphone. On the back of the battery pack, you can see that it has a quarter 20 inch screw mounting area. So all we have to do is screw it on. Make sure it's good and tight. Make any adjustments necessary so that it doesn't look awkward or sideways. You wanna make sure that it takes up as little space as possible. That way your camera will have enough clearance. Next, let's attach our camera. I'm using the Sony a7S with the Rokinon 14 mil along with the cage. You will balance the system exactly the same way as if it was a normal setup. So don't worry about that. There's no special way of balancing the setup. Once we get it balanced, we can attach our cable that goes from the mic to the camera. Then make any final balancing adjustments. Now we can turn on the crane too. Now for those of you who are wondering, I'm using the high motor strength setting. For many of you, you'll get away with the medium strength setting. But because I have a microphone on the off side of the gimbal and I'm using a cage and a pretty heavy lens, I wanna make sure that I have more than enough power just in case I make some different camera moves that might make the gimbal jitter a little bit. So I keep it on the high strength setting just for safety. So after you set everything up, you can just test out the gimbal, make sure it's stable. For me, everything looks perfect. So you can see that I have perfect clearance because the microphone or any other accessory will be set off to the side of the gimbal and not directly on top of the camera. I do still recommend that you use the dual handle system because it can get pretty tiresome on your back using any accessory, including this microphone here. It just, it can put some stress on your back. So if you need a quick run and gun shoot and you can't really travel with the dual handle system, this is the perfect solution for you. Again, I'll make sure to leave all the links necessary for you guys to buy those accessories that you need to get. Again, it's very, very cheap, so make sure you get those. All right, guys, well, I hope this video has helped you out. If so, please give this video a big like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel with notifications on. I can't wait to see what you create, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. I'm gonna go work out some more. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 